Welcome back to It's Tool Thing. Today with another tool haul video. Uh, these are my purchases I got this weekend. I actually saw these the other day, but I, I picked them up this weekend. Um, it's a set of Matco. I don't know if they consider these deep or semi-deep. They seem fairly deep, so they might be their, what they consider deep well. I'm not sure. Um, 10 and 19 complete set on the Matco rail. Uh, one of the plastic ones, which I do like these plastic rails, but... I've been wanting to switch over to more of the Magrails, those Magrail TLs, but they're pretty pricey. I've only got a few of them at this point. Uh, one thing I noticed, I've been actually running these today a little bit, a few sizes, um, I think 16 and 18, uh, the ones I was playing with. Um, but I noticed that some of them, there's only like two of them or something, maybe three. I know 10 millimeter, 18. Um, they say made in the USA on them. No, oh, that's coming through. It doesn't look like it. There it goes. Um, but yet the other ones, they don't say that they're made in the USA, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, I mean, it's right underneath the Matco logo, and it does not say made in the USA, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, if some of them aren't made in the USA or they just didn't stamp them, which seems like something you wouldn't want to forget if it is a USA-made product. But I picked these up. Um kind of pricey uh, definitely the top end what i was thinking they were worth uh, i don't think it was a bad value but ended up picking up this set for 145 um they're in pretty good shape they are the pinless design you can see somewhere on a few of them looks like the 10 millimeter the 15 16 18 which i was using today so i'm not sure that might be from just today um on that 18 you can see there's a little bit of dirt in that 16 right now if i'm using it earlier today um so i picked up that set uh, i thought 145 uh wasn't a horrible price but that is pretty pricey for where i want to be on wobblies but being it was a full set and i only have a couple of deep wells in metric i think it's 13 to 15 they actually happen to be matcos also that i just picked up individual but they are in fact like i said the that's showing up very well the penless design which myself, I, I don't like the extra wobble. They seem like they have more wobble in them than the pin design. But I haven't had any failures with mine. I've been running a 15 16 one for some time. And I don't use it a whole bunch, but I definitely beat on it when I use it. 3H drive. And I haven't had a failure. I know there's some guys that have had some failures. But I for the price, I go ahead and pick them up. And then the other item that I end up finding are items um, with these... Uh, small quarter ton come along um, they're actually made by elephant or Japanese company uh, I've actually been testing I think it was this one here in fact out today uh, they got a nice got it on they got a nice ratchet mechanism with this release ball um, the chains are a little short that's uh, my big concern with these I measured this chain on this one and it was, including the hook, it was about four feet, um, three foot seven, I think it was. So it's a little three and a half feet. It's a little short because um, I like to run these for drive lines and loop them. And I actually did try it today. And I had the truck up in the air and I couldn't set the drive line all the way in the ground. I actually had to set it on my legs to be able to swap it over, um, over to this one. But uh, so I wish I had a more of a five or six foot long chain. But they didn't do the, uh, slide this other one in here, this Harbor Freight one I've been running for a while now. Which actually does have like a five foot chain on it. Um, I gave it a quick measurement too. But this Harbor Freight one, all in all has been a pretty good one. Obviously the, the quality does not seem to be there uh, in some aspects. And it doesn't have that lever exposed. I don't know, maybe that lever is underneath that cover right there. Um, it very well might be, but it's not exposed. And I've had problems with this one slipping. Uh, not in the up position. If you put it in the up position and you take the weight off the drive line and let it back down, it'll hold it and it won't slip. But when you're in the down position, if you have the weight on it and you're going down, um, it seems to hold just fine. But as soon as you lift the weight off and then let it come back on it, um, it slips and I don't know if it'll slip all the way or it just slips a little bit, but either way uh, When you're underneath the drive line that weighs 
you know, probably 100 pounds or something. You really don't want that thing to be falling on you. So I'm going to relegate this one to a backup situation and start using these other two as my primaries. I am glad that I got two of them too. Uh, I've been wanting to get a second one anyways. I've been kind of eyeballing around. I just happened to go to the used tool store I go to and they had just two of them hanging up, oddly enough. Um, like I said, I wish they had a longer handle on them. But he had them marked for uh, $65. You can see that there. Ended up picking them up for 50 bucks a piece, which I thought was a reasonable price. Uh, and then out of curiosity, I was looking this brand up. Um, I could find the brand. It's an elephant brand. Uh, but I couldn't find them listed on, on their actual website for the the quarter ton, 500 pound ones. Um, but I was able to find one on eBay. I believe it had a longer chain on it, but it was the same unit. And they were um, relatively expensive. I want to say it was like 230 or $240 for that uh, unit listed on eBay. So at 50 bucks, I definitely got a pretty good price. I do wish the chain was longer because um, that's going to be an issue probably at some point but i'll figure out something maybe i'll try to use a a chain on the end to wrap around the drive line because that alone will give me a few more inches of length uh the only reason i haven't been doing that too is because you then you're going to have less you won't have you have less uh pull up which is the reason i needed such a small come along because i have a half ton and three quarter ton come alongs but using that spreader bar which i don't have handy here across the frame um, sometimes this distance that's why I want such a small one is pretty tight once you get it wheeled all the way up um, to be able to to be able to hold that drive line so you can pull the carrier bolts and then lower it down as an assembly instead of in the past at least by myself I would generally have to disassemble the drive line in multiple sections to be able to get them down by hand one by one uh, unless I'm in the shop or something and have access to a second set of hands and then two guys can handle it most of the time but uh, i've been using this trying to use this exclusively there are times that won't whip fit in there um, where you can't get that crossbar I, I need to look up other design possibilities for that but i need to get a second crossbar too to be honest so that's a bit of a ramble but uh i'm happy i picked those up um 50 bucks a piece seemed like a pretty good price so all in all, it was a pretty good weekend and the tool, haul, tool hunting. I went to a lot of a lot of locations and this was actually the first place that I went to, which I knew they already had them and they were on my way, um, headed in the direction. So I picked these up and then this was actually the last place I went to. Um, and I didn't find a single thing in between. Thank you for watching. Comment down below. Do you think, uh, do you think these impact wobblies was a good purchase? Um, or these hoists? or not um have you found it for a better price uh, i'd love to hear your thoughts down below please long, uh, like comment and subscribe and as always have a great day